Hello people! Strange Templar here! Welcome back to Cudgel Deer! It is the fourth day of winter, and a lot has been done! Uh, we finally have a pasture area set up. For the most part, we still have a little bit of fencing to do, but everything is now off limits to any invading goblins, so the, the fencing doesn't quite go around, but I don't think anything can go through because yeah, we should be good. Uh, so what I want to do today is work on making a little bit of a farmhouse, an area where the uh, food for the animals can be stored. We're also going to uh, work on doing a little bit of mining, get uh, this shaft built down at least to negative seven. So that's something that we're going to work on. We're probably also going to take the rest of this copper uh, that's out here because we're gonna start to run low once this is all done. This is going to take 16 bars in total. Well, actually, it's only gonna take, I think, 12 bars because we already have, excuse me, two armor plates made. So we we are starting to run low on copper again. So I'll mine some more out. It's not. It's nice to say, you know, we're running low on resources. We'll just mine some out. We might as well get this de designated uh, so Java can get working on this. Uh, this this is like, what, five, six, seven bars right there. No big deal. No big deal. Uh, we also want to build some dirt walls. And this isn't anything that's required. It's just something that's going to make me feel better, and it's just going to look better. We're going to start filling in all of this area, and uh, once that is done, like I said, it's not going to have any impact on the game. It's just going to make me feel better because it'll look better. <laughs> the, the importance of looking good. It's very important. I might actually want to build a ramp just so they have a quicker access other than going all the way around. That might be something that we want to work on. Okay, build, ramp, soil ramp, and let's save. Must be the morning of day four. But we'll go ahead and get that designated. Hopefully that makes things go a little bit quicker for them. Although it does create a possible route in for any invaders. So that is something that we will want to uh, be careful of. And so if we see anything, we are going to be running quickly to sound alarms and all of that. But looks like the uh, ramp is getting made already. So I want to make sure this gets all done before we start getting overly excited about building fences and all of that. Uh, just because I want to get this done as quickly and as safely as possible. BK should be working on... Okay, he's got the two gauntlets done. Now he's making some armor plates, which is going to, I believe... I don't know why he's focused on making coal. Oh, a honey badger. Should be, should be safe. Hopefully, just stay away, you stupid honey badger. Okay, uh, next thing that I want to do is we want to find our stone mason. And we should get one more trout, trough, true, truth, trough. It's trough uh, made. And we are going to get our yaks moved up here. Uh, the, the one bad thing about doing this in winter is that all of this dirt is not going to regrow as grass, which is kind of frustrating, uh, at least until spring. Once spring comes, all of this will turn into grass. But the problem that we're going to have until then is that none of that dirt will be designatable, designatable? Sure. As a uh, pasture area. So right now, if we set it as yaks, we can only house five yaks. And we should be able to get another two yaks out of that once 
winter is over. So that is kind of frustrating. So since we don't have any other animals right now, I'm going to go ahead and do that. That should get us up to eight possible yaks. And actually, we need to remove designation because we can't have it on the edge. So designate area pasture. And we're going to come right here. And we're going to say yaks. And we're going to come like so. And that'll house eight yaks. And we want at most two males and at most seven females. Again, this is to ensure that we always have at least one male since we are set to automatically butcher any excess livestock by reducing the maximum females down below the maximum number of allowed animals means that we'll always have at least one male and seven females or two males and six females. But uh, this should work. I'm not too worried about it. And... Um, yeah, and we're, we're set up to use straw, which is what they eat. And then we want to build a trough so we can feed them. We'll just put it right there for now. Okay, and then this area is going to be a little bit of a farmhouse with some storage for uh, wheat and seeds. Because seeds will be needed for emus once we finally get them. Looks like, speaking of seeds, we need to build some more bags. We should have two built right now. Build bags. And, um... Seeds should be stored here. I thought I had this set up for seeds. Seeds. Go there. Not bad. Okay, so if we clean floor... Should get them all moved over to here. We can build more bags so we can get this all stored. Zen's going to have a little bit of work cut out for him because we have a lot of seeds in case you guys didn't notice. We have a lot. Whoa! I just heard blood. Hold on. Why, why are we bleeding? Who? Oh, crap. Mathy! Wait, Mathy or Koi? Elf. Really? Health, Mathy, Koi, you guys are just trouble. Trouble, I tell you. Let's sound the alarm. Get that going. Uh, especially since Graves is about to go to bed. Let's get everyone attacking this. Dang it, who? <sighs> Foolish Howlers. Who antagonized the honey badger? This is not the proper time. Wolf, uh, um, I don't want you to go in first. I really don't. No! <sighs> Stupid. Okay. Wolf, uh, can you please take some hits so that we can get everyone else healed up, please? Who is that? Koi? You're fine, right, Koi? Please tell me you're fine. Just bleeding a little bit, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Okay, let's get everyone else, nope, not Wolfa. Let's get everyone else in on this attack. How are we doing? Uh, the honey badger is bleeding from his upper body, lower body, head, right arm, and left arm. Has seriously injured his right eye, has an injured left front paw, and the honey badger is blind. Okay, I'm not too worried about getting everyone else then. So, it seems nobody wants to ring the alarm bell. Please tell me that mechanic, yeah. Oh, freight. You know what I forgot to do? No, not. That would be why no one wants to ring the bell. Because we don't have the mechanic job assigned. It may be a high priority, but if you don't assign it over here, it's not going to do anything for us. Amazing how that works. <sighs> Dang it, that's embarrassing. Alright, let's go through, get everybody assigned a mechanic job. 
dang it. All right, I'll bring you guys back. Well, no, we're almost done. We're almost done. Actually, we'll do that after this. Honey badger is dead. Yay, the honey badger is dead. Which means we have more leather. We have more food because we can turn it into sandwiches. And we have uh, bones for trade goods. So I guess overall that's a good thing. I just don't like the fact that that was really kind of scary. Okay, let's do this real quick. Crafter, we got that done. Brewer, we did it. Okay, you guys need to start behaving and stop antagonizing the wildlife, please. I would very much appreciate it. Mechanic. Blacksmith. Of course the blacksmith has it set. Soldier. Although personally, the soldier should be going after whatever we're attacking rather than ringing the bell. But at least we have it designated for everyone now, so that should be less of a problem in the future. Okay, so this is designated. We should be, once this trough gets put down, I'm gonna let Trickster put some straw in and then we're gonna get everyone uh, redesignated. So at least no one died. That is the happy thing. No one died, so we're good. So far, we're good. We could actually keep both of these pastures running for a little bit. No, we're not going to do that because we want to start building some actual real buildings to put our industries in. <sighs> it scares me. Why are you so slow, Motion? Please tell me you're in good health. Okay, good. You're just slow. That's fine. That is fine. Zen is busy making bags to so we can start storing everything. This is going well. Trix should be filling the trough. Thank you. It's up to two straw. Now it's up to three. Progress. Sure. We'll call it progress. Everything. Was that Balbers? No. Motion. You're just wandering around. Makes me nervous when you do that. Okay. It actually makes me nervous that we're going into the fifth day of winter. And we're getting to the area where the goblins are going to start to show up again, I think. Probably around the seventh day of winter? Or, no, it would be probably day six, is what I'm thinking. But let's go ahead and dig some stairs down. And we're going to kind of alternate here. So we're going to mine a nice little wall like so. Dig stairs down, like so. This is negative three. And we're just going to keep going down. All right, so we have it go going down to negative seven. After that, we're going to stop. We're going to do a lo little bit of branch mining. We're going to kind of explore out, see what we can mine up. Hopefully try to find some gems or some metals, something like that, but that should keep Jabba busy for a little bit. I'm going to set this up as a wall, and then we're just gonna... Actually, you know what? We're just gonna keep going. We're gonna go for it! We're gonna go 85 down, and that will give Jabba plenty of work to do for now. Hopefully we can find some different colored stones as well. I'd really love to find some marble. Marble would make me very happy at this point. Ah, I hate seeing blood! makes me mad. It also makes me mad that they engage and there should be a notification when you first notice. Sissy, what are you doing? Seriously, what are you doing? There should be a notification when you first notice them and then again when they are engaged at some point in combat. So that would make me feel a little bit better when I know that if there's ever problems that it will be taken care of. It also makes me nervous that there are no military right now. 
No big deal, you know, it's not like we need to worry about invasions or anything like that. At least we got rid of the wildlife, right? Yeah, sure. Okay, how are we doing on planks? We are back up to 10 pine planks, which is good. So I think we can go ahead and start build furniture. Uh, no, not pillars. Build furniture, rail fence, out of pine. And we can kind of fill in some more of this. I'm going to make a little break right there to make sure that these corner pieces get made. Uh, it seems like the pathfinding has been fixed for the most part, so those kind of issues don't happen anymore. But I just want to make sure, and especially since we don't really have to worry about... Uh, we don't have to worry about anybody coming up in these sites anyways. It shouldn't be that big of an issue. What are you... Oh, that's tricks. Okay, let's go ahead and... Remove this designation, and that should get Trix busy moving Yaks around. Wait, that's not Trix. Is that Trix? No, that's Koi. Ah, Koi ha Okay, farmers have the ranching job, too. Good to know. Okay, more things that we can do. Uh, let's see how far Jabba has gone. Not not too far, but, you know, he, he it'll take him a while. It'll give him some practice. Uh, did you get this area done? Yes, you did. Nice. More copper, please. Oh, a, mo a monitor lizard now. Perfect. No, no. <sighs> Sophie, I know you love chasing down the wildlife, but please don't. Eh, let's push our luck. Copper alarm bell. Sound the alarm. Get the Foolish Howlers, some more combat experience, and Monitor Lizards are actually easier than Honey Badgers, so it shouldn't be too big of an issue, and that should wake up Graves and Wolfa, but Sophie, I don't like the fact that she's doing it by herself, but she should be okay. Okay, maybe not. Um, health, good health. Okay, at least she's armored. She's got the boot and the bracer. And Wolf is running out to help. Wow. It didn't even bleed. The... That's kind of weird. Okay, well... That was easy. I doubt we're even going to be using any bandages. It didn't seem like we bled either. So sound the all clear, and we should be good to go. Sack it sounded. Someone's going to sound it, hopefully. That should put them back into regular work as usual. Perfect. Okay, and that, once again, will bring us more leather, more food, and more bones to craft into something worthwhile so that makes me pretty darn happy i'm not gonna lie and yeah didn't look like we used any bandages we might have had to craft one real quick but for the most part everything should be just good to go the rain has stopped wonderful now they can work outside without being overly upset about things why is no oh they're probably focusing on build nope nothing's getting built nothing's getting hauled I'm not sure what's going on here. No one's sleeping. Hey, let's look at the population tab and see. Uh, cleaning floors, crafting items, cleaning floors. Okay, why is BK cleaning the floor? Shouldn't he have better things to do? BK? BK, where are you? Let's follow you around for a little bit and judge you. For cleaning when you should be smelting and mining. Oh, cleaning floor means grabbing a log to smelt into coal. That makes sense. I'll let it slide this time, BK, but don't you ever, ever do it again. Okay. So now that I've threatened my good Australian friend, yes, he is indeed Australian, 
and I make fun of him for that because, I don't know, I'm an ignorant American and that's what I do. I don't know. I don't know what I'm even saying right now, but he, he's a good guy. Even if he is us. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Um, next up, what we need to do is kill more wildlife. Antagonize more wildlife. Is there any more wildlife? Okay, if we find a bear, we are not... I repeat, we are not attacking bears right now. That is a bad idea. Although they do give really good um, armor. Bear armor is... Or bear leather is stronger than uh, monitor lizard or honey badger armor. Leather. It's not worth it because bears kill. They they maul really badly. And that's just something that I don't want to deal with right now for obvious reasons. Uh, but it shouldn't be too big of an issue. Except music's changing. Do we have to worry about combat? Nope. Okay. We're good. Um... I'm almost wondering if we should we should clean these floors while we're at it. Since we have the area opened up, we should, I'm thinking, put a priority on those areas. Clean these up so that when we seal this off, we don't really have to worry about them coming around and life will be good, theoretically. Theoretical goodness. Sure. Okay. Well, everything seems to be going well. We're up to 13 bars. And we have another three more in progress. We don't have 10 yet. Well, we might have 10. I think 10 starts spawning at negative 8 or negative 10. So we probably aren't going to find any tin down here. What I really want, though, is gems. We can find some emeralds or some sapphires, something like that. I would be so freakishly happy. But it doesn't seem like that. Hey, there's coal. So that's something, at least. Yeah, hopefully gems so we can start making some jewelry. So we can start trading for more animals. Because once, uh, once you get a full like pasture of yaks and alpacas and emus and all of those, you really don't have to worry about food anymore because they just keep making babies and you keep butchering them. That's horrible to say, but gnomes are not vegetarians by any means. They're omnivores. They eat both. And it seems that the meat sandwiches... Oh! Oh! Guys! That is a sapphire! Oh my gosh. This one sapphire can pay for... Well, when put into jewelry. Could probably pay for half of an alpaca. Or an emu. Or any other animal. And we're probably going to want to do that too. Nice! There's more... Now we're going to have to get a jewel crafter set up. Ah, oh, that's going to take forever. But that's okay. We're good. We're golden. Uh, looks like we can cancel those. Let's set these. Nope. Can cancel there too. Cancel. Well, hey, four gems at least. Maybe a couple more. Yeah, four gems. That will probably pay for a breeding pair of alpacas or emus. I know, it's crazy. Four measly gems is all we need to get another set of livestock going. That's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. But it works like that. And so I'm okay with that. And uh, with that though, guys, I think it is time to pause it. I am pretty excited with what we've got done today. Next scene, last thing that I want to do is I want to f take furniture four poster bed we're gonna take pine four poster beds and we are going to get these set up and that should give Sessi and uh, Zen a little bit more work to do even though he is making some bags right now that gives them just a little bit more in the way of tasks 
and everything I feel is going pretty darn well for the most part. That probably means that things are about to start going really, really unwell, but for now, I'm going to take it as a good sign. Uh, but with that, though, guys, again, I am going to uh, let you go. Thank you again for watching. I do appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to hit that like and or subscribe button if you haven't. I will see you guys next time. But until next time, don't be a stranger. Take care.